Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a while. I think it's been like three months since I recorded my last video. I think it was like a PT, get ready with me or something like that. I don't know at this point. It's been quite a while. Um, not gonna lie, I had recorded like two videos for you guys before I left to Japan. But then I was looking at the footage when I was editing, editing it and I hated it so much that I decided to scratch it. And then I went to Japan for three weeks and I was like, oh, I'm gonna vlog, I'm gonna vlog. Went was totally in the moment which is fine uh but i forgot to vlog i did record stuff obviously but i feel like the footage that i did record doesn't really flow and it's kind of boring um if you ask me but if you guys would want to see it just comment down below but today i am here with a very exciting video at least for me and it is my glossier favorites um so for those of you guys who don't follow me on instagram um you should <laughs> but Actually, on there, I posted that I became a glossy representative, and um, it's been quite a while, and I love it, and today I'm here to share with you guys some of my favorite products and things that work for me and that I would recommend to you guys. I have a couple of products that I wanted to share with you guys, and do keep in mind that I love, like, almost all the glossy products, like, honest to God, I do, but these are, like, my favorite ones, and if I recommend a product to you guys, um, knowing that there might be someone out there who might actually take my recommendation and spend their money to go and purchase a product that means a lot to me and i want to be honest with you guys and share what i honestly would buy and i have bought. i'm going to start off with one of the most uh newest glossier products and this is the invisible shield this is a daily sunscreen and it's spf 35 and it is super awesome you guys i was so hesitant to try this product when it first came out i thought this product was going to be too sticky and it was going to leave a white cast because a lot of the times sunscreen um, sunscreens tend to do that. Like if you apply them and then you apply your makeup. If you take a picture with flash or anything like that, it will show white cast. And it just looked really disgusting at the end. Um, and it doesn't leave any white residue. It doesn't leave any residue at all. I used two to three pumps, although that is a little excessive. You don't need two to three pumps. I think that you probably need one to two. Um, but I like to apply... Um, a little bit more um, it does seem the instructions apply over your entire face after the priming moisturizer but before the perfecting skin tint good job uh, which is exactly what I do I apply it after I apply my priming moisturizer and then after that I go in with my L'Oreal Pro Matte and I love this thing so much it it's not sticky it does leave, give some radiance to my skin which is what I'm looking for um, as a person who uses a really matte foundation um, so I think it works perfect for me um maybe if you use a different foundation uh, you would have to try it out yourself and see if it um, looks too dewy or too like too radiant underneath but for me personally it works really the next thing that i love from glossier is their priming moisturizer and this thing is awesome it's more on the watery side so it's not going to be like a super thick sticky um, moisturizer if you're used to that this is more on the light side. Um, in the website, I did see that it claims to minimize your pores and um, even out your skin tone, which I don't think it really does that for me, and I've been wearing it for quite a while now. But what I love this product for is to give me that dewy look that I want to have um, under my foundation. Because like I mentioned, I wear a really matte foundation. I wear that, and then I sometimes wear the Amazonian clay by Tarte on top as well like I had some, a couple of drops so those two foundations are super matte and I've noticed that when I wear this thing um, especially around my t-zone it will give me just like the perfect amount of like glowiness um, and it it just wears so well it just wears so well with the foundation that I wear on top um, I started by applying it on my t-zone and then on my forehead and then outwards and it just does a really good job at moisturizing my skin and giving me the look that I want to. I've noticed, I think a couple of days ago, I wore it without, I wore my foundation without applying this before. And I noticed that around my T-zone, it was like so dry and it's just like, it looks so powdery versus when I wear this, it just kind of looks like my foundation is melting in with my face. And you just got to remember sometimes that things like this, like a prim priming moisturizer, can make the whole difference in your foundation. So, I love that thing so much. I would definitely recommend that. Um, and now I'm going to move on to one of Glossier's like, most popular products. And of course, it's the Boy Brow. 
Um, the boy brow is loved by so many people. Um, I swear, like, almost every single person that I've asked, like, what do you use on your brows? Like, they use the boy brow. If their brows are good, they're using the boy brow. Um, I use the color black. I've tried the clear one before, but it wasn't my favorite. Um, this thing has all, so much product. Um, sometimes whenever you just get it and it's brand new, if, when you take it out, it's going to have so much product. So what I usually do is I would just rub it off on the tube, start halfway in my brow, and then do the front last, which worked really well for me. I really and now, let's talk about these little things here. You saw, um, this one right here is the birthdaybomb.com and this is the coconutbomb.com. And this is not my favorite one, but um, this is the only one that I could find like sitting around my desk area. Um, but this one, this one, this one is my absolute favorite. This one you can find in literally any of my bags. Like I have one in my backpack, I have one in my personal bag. Like anytime that I switch my bag, this is going to go with me. Like I love this so much. It reminds me of a candle that I used to have by Bath and Body Works. Um, I don't remember what the name was. It's like two Christmas ago and I can't put my like, I can't think of the name of that candle. And it just smells so delicious. I'm a sucker for like sweet like birthday cake the vanilla scents and this one is so perfect um i love the consistency of these these are more like chopsticks uh this one specifically the birthdaybomb.com has like a like little bits of like glitter in them but that it's supposed to be like a chapstick it says in the back swipe onto lips for a loving layer of nourishing moisture um but i personally like apply a generous amount in my hands and like i rub it in like if it was lotion i put it on my knuckles on my nails um that's how i use it sometimes and then my second favorite one would probably have to be the mint one. And then after the mint one, the cherry one. Because the cherry one, two summers ago, I think it was two summers ago or like it's last summer. I forget. But I used to wear that like religious. And then for the last product, we are up to the last product. I have the Glossier Stretch Concealer. And I have the color Light 10. Light 10 in there. It's almost gone, but it still has like a good amount of product. I've been having this for like six to ten months and it's been it still has like plenty of product like I said. Um this thing is awesome. Um I wouldn't recommend it for people who have more oily skin um because it's a very radiant and dewy concealer. And if you're scared of creasing and you're scared of stuff like that, like don't buy this concealer because it's not gonna be for you. Um I use this concealer a lot to apply under my foundation um and under like my concealer because I use it more to like uh spot treat spot conceal spot conceal i use it more to like spot conceal and to line my eyebrows um because i've noticed that whenever i use this to conceal my eyebrows like when the light hits it looks a little dewy right there and i really like how that looks but um if you're really scared like i said if you're really scared of creasing if you're really scared of stuff like that i wouldn't purchase because if you're gonna end up putting powder over it it's just gonna be a hot mess like it's super thick and dewy and like really oily so if you apply it and then you want to put um like powders on top it's just not going to be a good deal um i wouldn't recommend it like i said if you're if you're intimidated by that um but i personally love it because i use it underneath my matte foundation so that's how i use it so if you want to try it like that if you think it's worth it um by just using it to spot conceal and do your brows and i think i would recommend it I love it. I love the product personally because on days that I don't want to wear makeup, I'll use it as kind of like a foundation. Um, I don't put a foundation everywhere, but I'll use it to spot conceal and then just like kind of like tab it in, dab it in in certain spots. Okay, that light is not my shade. I got it because I intended to use it like a regular concealer when I first got it. Then I realized like I'm not going to be able to use this product as a regular concealer. So that's when I switched it up. But I think I might order like my color, like a shade that's my color so that I can actually use it to like more often um but those are my favorite glossier products i hope that this video really helps you guys and um, if you trust me if you trust like what i if you wear like products that i use in my other videos like as far as makeup then you might want to purchase these items and yeah, i mentioned earlier i am a glossier um representative so down below i will have my link so you can visit my website and shop my favorite products some people were messaging me on instagram and I didn't want to like be telling people like random items. I wanted to wait till this video. So thanks for waiting. Thanks for checking in. And thanks for watching my video. Comment down below what your favorite products are. If you have any questions regarding the products that I showed you guys. 
and I will see you guys next time. Bye!